Hello and welcome to the first lesson in the Online Terrestrial Navigation course. This lesson will be on course by terrestrial observation. Let's take a second and pause and look down in the description of the video. You'll see a link. That link is to a worksheet that you can download. It's a PDF file. You can download the worksheet that goes along with this video. I would encourage you to work the worksheet um, and work it until you are consistently making a 90% or better, and then you'll be ready to move along to the next lesson. But again, the link to the worksheet is in the description of the video. Some of the terms and phrases that you'll be using in this lesson are true course and true bearing. This is the actual course your vessel is traveling or the actual bearing between two objects. All chart work is done with true readings. Observations by gyro or magnetic compass must be converted to true readings before applying them to a chart. Standard magnetic compass, sometimes referred to simply as a magnetic compass, sometimes abbreviated as PSC, which stands for per standard compass. To convert a reading from true to magnetic or a compass course, or vice versa, two corrections must be applied to the reading. A gyro compass, sometimes referred to simply as a gyro, and sometimes abbreviated as PGC, per gyro compass. You'll see that abbreviation a lot in the uh, Coast Guard practice questions. To convert a reading from true to gyro, or vice versa, only one correction need be applied. Magnetic north. Magnetic north is the direction a magnetic compass points. Magnetic north is not the same as true north. The difference between magnetic north and true north varies depending on where you are on Earth. The name of the correction applied to magnetic north to get true north is called variation. Let's take a look at how variation works. Okay, let's say we are somewhere over here on the globe and we're wanting to go to true north, which is right here somewhere close to the end of the international date line. Not exact, but you get the idea. And we'll see if we can make this happen. And magnetic north is somewhere right along in here. Not exact, but in the general vicinity. Just drag this out of the way and pretend like it's a longitude line on the globe. The difference between these two angles right here is called variation. And it varies depending on where you are on Earth. If this is us, you can see as we travel, that angle changes. Come down over here, it gets smaller, gets bigger, does all kind of weird stuff when you get up here. But that difference between true north and magnetic north is known as variation. Now that we've had a chance to go over some of the terms in the lesson, let's see how we'll use them to solve some of the Coast Guard problems. One of the things you'll do is conversion from true course to per standard compass course. And to make this correction, you need to have true, variation, magnetic, deviation, and a compass course. We'll have a little diagram here that um, you'll use to uh, solve this. Okay, this is one of the questions off the Coast Guard exam. While proceeding up the channel on a course of 10 degrees per gyro compass, you notice a pair of range lights in alignment with the mast of your vessel when viewed forward. The check of the chart shows the range to be 009 degrees true, 
and the variation to be 15 degrees west. If the ship's course is 26 degrees per standard compass, what is the deviation for the present heading? So let's look at what the question is asking us for. What is the deviation for the present heading? Deviation being related to a magnetic compass, this will be the diagram that we use to solve this problem. TVMDC. If this is not already ingrained in your head, it will be soon enough. True variation, magnetic deviation, and compass course. Also, this little diagram right here tells you what to do to the correction. Now let's look at the problem and see what information it gives to us. First thing, it tells us that 009 degrees true is the course, so let's put that next to the true. The next thing it tells us is the variation in the area is 15 degrees west. So let's put that beside the variation. The next thing it tells us is our ship's course is 26 degrees per standard compass. So we will put 26 degrees down here next to the compass. Now looking at this uh, diagram here, as you work down the diagram, you'll add westerly corrections, you'll subtract easterly corrections. So we're looking at 9 degrees true, a variation correction of 15 degrees west, so we're going to add that 15 degrees and we'll get 24 degrees for a magnetic course. Continue working down to go from 24 degrees to 26 degrees, we'll have to add a correction, so it'll be a westerly correction, and to go from 24 to 26, we will add 2 degrees west, and your answer is 2 degrees west. Conversions from true to gyro, you'll need true course, gyro error, and gyro. Take a look at one of the Coast Guard questions concerning gyro error. While your vessel is proceeding down a channel, you notice a range of lights in line with your vessel's mast. If your vessel is on a course of 001 degrees per gyro compass, and the charted value of the range is 359 degrees true, what is the gyro error? First, we're going to look at what the question is asking. What is the gyro error? So we're going to lay out our form. Similar to the TMV, uh, TVMDC, but it's true gyro error and gyro. Let's go back to the problem and see what information it gives us. First, you're on a course of 001 per gyro compass, so let's plug that into our diagram here as gyro. The next thing it tells us is 359 degrees true. So we'll plug that into the true and we're trying to figure out what the gyro error is. Now to go from 359 to 001, because a compass starts over at 359 degrees, you're going to add, and to go from 359 to 01, you add 2 degrees, so your answer is 2 degrees west. Okay, the rest of the video is just going to be similar to uh, these two slides to um, show you how to work the rest of the problems on the worksheet. Okay, I'm going to go through these a little quicker than the first two. Just uh, going to go by question by question for the worksheet. That way if you get stumped on one of the questions, you can go back and just scroll through the video and look for the question number as you're scrolling through. And just stop on it, check it out, and see. Uh, this question is asking what the deviation is, so it's going to be a uh, magnetic compass question. Uh, set up our 
layout, three forty three true comes to us in the problem. Variation of five west. And the next thing the problem gives us is 344 per standard compass. It's going to go down at the bottom. We're going to take 343. And since the variation is westerly, we're going to add it, get 348. Now to go from 348 to 344, we have to subtract. So it will be an easterly correction of 4 degrees east. Your answer is 4 degrees east.
Question 17, the first curveball of the lesson. It seems to look like all the rest of the questions it's asking for deviation. So we'll lay out our magnetic compass layout to find deviation. Start pulling numbers from the problem to plug into the diagram. First thing it gives us is a standard magnetic compass heading of 26 degrees. So we'll plug that in down here at the bottom. It gives us a variation of 9 degrees east, so we'll plug that in. And now what? It doesn't give us any true headings or true bearings to work with, so we'll have to figure it out. If you'll remember, question number two, we did a gyro layout. Works the same way as the uh, TVMDC layout, except it only has one correction. So if we'll lay the gyro out and plug these numbers in, it gives us a gyro compass heading of 34 degrees. So we'll put that in as the heading. Gives us a gyro error of one degree west. Now all the questions before we have used this side of the little diagram because we're working down the TVMDC. This diagram also applies to the gyro layout as well. We're going to use this side of the diagram, not because we're working a gyro problem, but because we are working up the problem. And working up the problem, we subtract westerly corrections, so a heading of 34 degrees, apply a correction of 1 degree west, so we subtract it, and we'll get a true heading of 33 degrees. We can now take that true heading of 33 degrees and plug it into the TVMDC diagram and simply work it down like all the other problems. 9 degree easterly correction for variation gives us a 24 degree magnetic course. And to go from 24 degrees to 26 degrees, we'll have to add a correction so it'll be a westerly correction of two degrees west and your answer is two degrees west. Just a heads up there will be another curve ball at question 21. I'll see you back there. Question 21, the one that stumps everybody. A couple of things you got to look at in this problem is they give you a course of 251 degrees per gyro compass, and the range is in line bearing 192 degrees per gyro compass. All the other questions have been worded that the range is in line dead ahead, or that you're looking ahead, 
and see the range. However, on this one, we have a 251 degree course. The range is in line at 192 degrees. And if that were the case, you would be looking across the gyro out the port side of your vessel to see that 192 degree range. So it puts an extra step in the problem. So let's go ahead and lay out our diagram here, the TBMDC, and we will have a gyro bearing and a gyro heading that we'll have to solve for. So let's pull these numbers out of the problem. 251 degrees is your course or your heading. 241 per standard compass, so we'll go ahead and put that over here in the C. And the bearing is 192 per gyro compass. We'll put that right there. Now the chart indicates the range is in line on a bearing of 194 degrees true. So let's plug that into the bearing. And we can solve the gyro bearing now to get our gyro error. To go from 194 to 192, working down the problem, we'll have to subtract. So it'll be an easterly correction of 2 degrees. Now we have a gyro error that we can plug in and get a true heading. So working up the diagram, 251 degrees. We will add the easterly correction because we are working up. And we'll have a true heading of 253 degrees. Now that we have a true heading by gyro, we can plug that in over here, the true heading on the standard compass, and simply work it down the same way the other questions are worked down. Variation is 16 degrees east. Go from 253, 16 east, we'll subtract. Get a magnetic course of 237. 237 to 241, we'll need to add. So it'll be a westerly correction of 4 degrees. So your deviation is 4 degrees west. Okay, question 22. While entering a harbor on a course of 225 degrees per gyro compass, you take a bearing on a pair of range lights and get 220 degrees per gyro compass. Notice the question doesn't say that that range is dead ahead in line. The bearing on the chart is 217 degrees true. The variation for the area is 6 degrees west and the deviation is 2 degrees west. What course would you steer per gyro compass to make good a true course of 232 degrees? So they're asking what course would you steer per gyro compass to make a good true course of 232 degrees. In case you haven't picked up on it by now, the Coast Guard loves to throw extra information in these problems, stuff that has nothing to do with what you need to solve the problem. Right here, they give us the variation and the deviation in this problem. We don't need it to solve the problem. Another thing they give us is the course per gyro compass that we are steering right now. Again, we don't need that to solve the problem. So we don't really need our TVMDC diagram here, but what we do need, just like in question 21, we're going to have to work down two gyro diagrams. Um, so let's lay out our gyro diagrams and again we'll have a bearing and a heading because it's given us a true bearing of 217 degrees on the lights. So we'll plug that in on the bearing and it tells us that they are 220 degrees per gyro compass. With that we can get our gyro error. 217 to 220 will be a westerly correction 
of 3 degrees. Now that we have a gyro error, we can plug it into our heading layout. And the problem wants to know what course would we steer to make good a true course of 232 degrees. So a true course of 232 degrees, we would plug into the true, apply our gyro error, and we would have to steer 235 degrees per gyro compass to make good a true heading or true course of 232 degrees. So our answer is 235 degrees per gyro compass.